Well, we all know about herbs and that some of them are good for us and we cook with them, but do you really know what they're doing for your body? So Tyler Arsenault joins us today from Full Circle Healthcare. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks I think this is a me. brilliant idea to talk about because this time of year we want to build up our immune systems. We want to make sure that we're operating at the best possible level that we can so mm -hmm. we can stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And you've brought in some examples of things we should be taking mm -hmm. that can help do that and so much more. Yeah, and I brought in some common examples. Now, the one thing I want to say off the top with spices is it's the one category that people, you know, it's just, for most people, it's just fl extra flavor that you add to your food. The thing that spices have in common, just like fruits have things in common and vegetables have things in common, is their antioxidant potential is like through the roof. Like a gram for gram, if you look at the, the, the foods with the highest antioxidant potential, highest immune boosting potential, it's usually spices and it's because of their really strong flavor. For That's every, remarkable. You, know, you, don't, you don't eat large portions of any of these things, you eat just tiny bits of it, but those strong flavors are basically the polyphenols and the things in them that give them their really potent anti And when you get them in, a, in the powder form or anything like that, if you're not yeah. using a, um, you know, an herb like oregano that's natural that you've picked, that you've brought in, yep. are you still getting the same bang for your buck? You still do in some cases. There's not like a general rule and it, it's the same thing applies to cooking. You know, in some cases the fresh herb is better than the dried herb. In some cases the dried herb because it's more concentrated and all the water's been removed out of it during the drying process, it's more concentrated. And some things like parsley, um, actually they get stronger the more you cook them. And other things that's totally not the case, sometimes you ruin everything by cooking it. Oh, that's interesting. So there's yeah. there's not very a good standard rule for any of that. So look that it up. Information. Yeah, in the meantime, yeah. we'll talk about Let's talk about oregano first. I know a lot of people take this <clears> if they start to feel a cold coming on. Yes, so oregano, we got some of this from our, our uh, garden that we were growing on our deck. It was the only, this and parsley were the only two plants that survived the frost. So it's a very hardy plant. Now the thing about oregano oil is it contains three things that are, are most of interest to people, thymol, uh, carvacol, and eugenol. Those are very potent antimicrobials. So as far as being antiparasitic, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, there isn't a whole lot of bugs that really enjoy the pleasure of oregano. So as far as you, you know, using them in, in food, Greek and Italian food, is, you know, a lot of different types of dishes will use it uh, quite well. You can also get the concentrated version. Yeah, I just drop that in some water and, yeah, and it tastes, shoot it down. <laughs> it tastes wonderful. Burns a bit, but uh, yeah, it does the trick. Exactly, and it's it's uh, you know it takes a lot of oregano to make one tiny little bottle of um, oregano oil. You can get it in capsules too, but I usually find it is a lot more expensive. But yeah, for immune boosting, this is the thing to go with. And turmeric. I mean, I've yes. heard such amazing things about turmeric, but I don't yeah. know how to use it other than in sort of curry dishes. Yeah, and that's the thing is, it, curry. One of the main components of curry is turmeric. It's you know it's actually related to the ginger family. Family and it's what gives it that nice sort of bright yellow color. It has What's a, good about this? It, the thing about uh, thing about turmeric is it's essentially, as far as anti-inflammatory research goes on natural products and natural spices, curcumin is uh, the active constituent of turmeric. So you'll hear me use the word curcumin like I use the word turmeric all the time. I <laughs> interchange them. <laughs> but in anti-inflammatory analgesic effects, so we have a lot of patients and customers with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. They, you know, either in their hands or in other parts of their body, they can't, uh, they have a very bad range of motion and mobility. They see uh, pain. From this? Amazing. Sometimes, even um, when regular prescription medications like ibuprofen and acetaminophen don't work, wow. this stuff does. Which is pretty nice because it's a natural, a natural opportunity yeah. for your body to repair itself. And cancer, too. And cancer garlic. I mean, a lot of people are using garlic in their cooking already, so this is good for us. Yeah, and it's, it's something that I find um, gets overlooked as far as um, health benefits, but. If I had to, if I had to rate any sort of herb as far as amount of research done since the beginning of time, <laughs> garlic would be the one. There are thousands and thousands of research articles on garlic, and the benefits as far as heart health in terms of lowering uh, cholesterol, lowering triglycerides, b different serum lipids, even blood clotting, and um, like what they call f fibrin, which is something that that starts your um, arteries from developing plaque. Garlic is the thing to do. Even things like blood pressure. Um, now and roasted garlic is delicious. Yes, so, roasted know, garlic Roast is it delicious. and pop some. Just don't get too close to people afterwards. So we're going to move all along because I want to get these two in sure, as well. Yep. Um, uh, cinnamon, amazing. And I, I throw this into, into tea an awful lot yep. through the winter months. Yeah, the thing with cinnamon is is also a very potent antioxidant amongst all different spices. Um, the thing with cinnamon is it, it's, what the, it's, it's most noted for it's what they call an insulin uh, mimic, mimetic, uh, insulin mimicker. So the thing that a lot of people are finding, especially people who have diabetes or if they have bouts of high, bl uh, high blood sugar or hyper hyperglycemia, they're using cinnamon, they add that to the food that would normally cause a problem. So a good uh, example I like to use is French toast. French toast normally would make your blood sugar go sky high if you had diabetes or if you were um, somebody who had, was prone to, to high blood sugar spikes. 
Adding a whole pile of cinnamon to that will basically mimic the effects of insulin. It'll keep the person's blood sugar much more stable. Wow, that's fascinating. And it's fascinating. immediate and short term, so it's not something that you have to build up in your body and take yeah. it every day. And it it's, tastes It works good too. on that meal. Yeah. Now we'll end with parsley. You talked about how yep. this is better when it's cooked. What is it doing yes. for our body? Basically, parsley, uh, there's a lot of new anti-cancer research on it, for one. So it seems that it activates a lot of genes that are uh, induce cancer cell death. The other thing it's most not commonly uh, known for is it's an antidiuretic. So, or uh, sorry, it's a diuretic. So essentially, any swelling you get, people sometimes in the summer months will get a lot of swelling in their mm -hmm. feet. Um, parsley is the one thing that will increase urinary output and get rid of a lot of excess water that your body oh, might be holding fantastic. on to. Fantastic! I throw that in my in my smoothies. It tastes fantastic. It's yes. awesome. So great, great. It's high, very high in chlorophyll as well and great for um, bad breath too. Oh, good. That's so why they put it on there the side of the go. plate when you're done eating. Oh, yeah, there you go. It had some practical purposes <laughs> yeah. there. Tyler, thank you so much. Full Circle Healthcare is where you can go for more information. They're located at 131 Upper Centennial Parkway. They'll have some recipes on their website, fullcirclehealthcare.ca, so you can go there for some great recipes and incorporate all these wonderful things into your diet. You can also follow them on Twitter. Well, stay with us. Coming up after the break, we're going to show you some great holiday dresses. We'll see you then.